Last night, SpaceX launched two lunar landers with one Falcon 9 and recovered the booster. This is space in a few minutes, and we're doing this on YouTube. It's a longer preview of the whole launch, and we're just gonna talk about what happened. So here you're seeing the Falcon 9 take off from Florida, and night launches are pretty cool, especially when you get this great tracking. You get to see the actual plumes of the thrust of those rockets uh, as it goes into the atmosphere where there's less and less air, it starts to spread out and change, which is pretty cool. So here, the first stage separates from the second stage, and the second stage continues to bring the two lunar landers that are on board into orbit. You can see as the fairings opened up there, you've got Blue Ghost on top for NASA, made by Firefly Aerospace, and then iSpace's Resilience Lunar Lander, which is on its second attempt to go to the moon. So here we're showing the push up into orbit before they deploy the Blue Ghost spacecraft. And then a little bit later, they end up deploying the iSpace lunar lander. But first, we got to enjoy this re-entry burn as we move towards seeing that Falcon 9 land on the barge. You know, Falcon 9s are up to, I believe the record now is 25 reused flights. That just happened last week. And it's really amazing that we've gotten to this point where these rockets are launching and landing and barges in the middle of the ocean and back on land. Uh, we live in some special times. But here, some amazing views of the payloads. Blue Ghost on top, about to deploy here in just a second. What an angle with the Earth in the bottom, sun facing, and Blue Ghost drifting off into space on its way towards the moon to eventually land. So uh, Firefly's aerospace has been around for a while. You can see the mission team there uh, enjoying the victory of getting their first lander out uh, and again, the fact that the Falcon 9 can do this and send all of these missions to the moon by itself, I mean, usually you need something like a Saturn V or a heavy lift rocket like Falcon Heavy or New Glenn that's going to be launching eventually here. Um, the fact that a Falcon 9 is sending these things to space, uh, to the moon, is kind of wild. And here you're going to see what iSpace did. They put the lander in a capsule. So that's the top of the capsule releasing. We usually don't get these second stage views like this. So I just thought that was amazing. And then here, iSpace's lander resilience to make its second attempt on the moon. So great day in space. Thanks for